Hey guys, it's Alex and today I've got another tackle review for you guys and today we are going to be talking about the Berkley Digger Crankbait. So Berkley's been around for a long time. Um, they've come out with line, uh, reels, uh, soft plastics, fishing rods, all that kind of stuff. And last year they came out with a hard bait line which included this awesome little crankbait right here called the Digger. So we're going to do a review about it. We're going to talk about some of the things I've liked, some of the things I don't like, some of the things I've found uh, that happened with this bait. and. We're just going to do a little overview of this bait. So first things first, like I said, it is the digger. It comes in three sizes. You have your 1.5, your 2 inch, and your 2.5 version. Um, this one is actually the 2.5. Here is the uh, 2 inch, and then I actually don't have one of the 1.5s. It's kind of just too small for me. Um, but this one weighs 9 sixteenths of an ounce. The uh, 2 inch weighs half an ounce. Um, this one dives, is supposed to dive anywhere from 8 to 10 feet, while this one wants to dive 5 to 8 feet, and then the smallest one wants to dive 3 to 5 feet. Um, and it does. It gets down there. It gets It actually goes a little bit more. I had this uh, crankbait diving about to 12 feet, and it really, really wanted to dig, uh, wants to dig hard. I think that has to do with that build design. It's one thing I really like about this bait is I like to throw it on bluffs and really steep banks and stuff like that. Um, and you know, as soon as I start to, to crank it, it hits the bottom and it digs all the way down until it's time to turn that bait back up and bring it to the boat. So that is a really good advantage. And I think it has to do with that build design. Um, it has really uh, quality components on it, actually. This is something I was surprised by. Usually when you get a $6, $7 crankbait, you got to go in, you got to switch the split rings, you got to switch the hooks. With these, you do not. These are Fusion 19 hooks. Um, these are Berkley hooks designed by Berkley. They are super sharp uh, and super sticky. Um, they're kind of, you know, a semi-heavy wire, which is really good. I've not had any bend-out issues. Um, they're black nickel and very, very good quality hooks. And they also come with very good split rings. A lot of times you'll get a split ring, and as soon as you put the split ring pliers to it, they bend out, and you got to put new split rings on. With these, I've not found that. I actually had to switch the hook out on one bait um, that I broke. It was my fault. And, um, you know, the split rings perform like they were supposed to. Very strong, very quality. Um, the only issue I've found hardware-wise is this little line tie right up here at the front. You can actually see it on this bait. That little line tie actually pulled out. Um, my dad accidentally hit my rod while he was casting. And it pulled that little line tie right out of the bill of that bait. I don't know if that's an issue throughout the, the um, throughout the, all the crankbaits, but it happened to this one in particular crankbait. And another thing with that line tag is, is whenever you get this bait hung and you pop it loose, you almost always have to retune this bait. And I think that just has something to do with how that line tie is secured in the bill of that bait. I don't know if it's the glue or the design or what it is, um, but you know, with this one it came out, I don't know if that's an issue across the board. It's not happened to me with any other of the ones that I have here, um, but it happened with this one. And you almost always have to retune it, like I said, when you pop it loose from a piece of structure. Um, paint job wise, while we're zoomed in on it here, um, really good paint jobs. You can see this one is pretty roughed up. This bait though has been thrown hundreds and hundreds of times and it's caught a, quite a few fish. Um, it's got a little bit of hook rash. The bottom bottom's pretty beat up, but you know, that's to be expected when you throw a bait as many times as I've thrown this bait. Overall though, very, very good build quality and paint jobs on here. They stay long, around for a long time, but this one is the one I really like. It's the red crawl color. And you can see your little black on the back, red, and then some methylate orange on the bottom. I also have this one which is a brown and chartreuse, so just brown back, chartreuse belly. And then I have this one, which is kind of like a sexy shag color. This is a black on the back, white, and then a little chartreuse on the belly. So really good looking colors. They have a lot more colors than this. This is just the ones I have in the boat and the ones that seem to do well for me. Another thing about this bait that I really like is the rattling system. In it. So it has a very unique rattle. And you know, right here, it just kind of sounds like a normal rattle, but when you put this thing in the water, it has almost a rattle trap sound. It's a really unique sound, and that's the closest thing that I can, you know, kind of uh, identify it with is, is a rattle trap or a red eye shad or something like that. And it has to probably do with the rattles that are in it and whatever the material this body's made out of, but it's a very high pitched, uh, snappy kind of rattle. And it also has a very tight wobble. And I think those two things kind of help for it to get the fish's attention where other crankbaits won't. Um, I think it's something that the fish haven't seen yet. They're not conditioned to it yet. So, you know, they're the more apt to bite it out of curiosity and just, you know, uh, 
reaction and all that kind of stuff but very unique rattling sound and very unique wobble through the, through the water another really cool feature is it actually suspends um, and you know it's a slow floating bait um, so if you break this bait off you're probably not going to get it back and all my experiences with it it suspends it doesn't really slow float um, so you know say you're you're winding along you hit a piece of structure you bounce it back off of it and it'll actually sit there and then you can start reeling it again that can really help when the water is cold like it is now and it gets even colder uh, you can really slow roll this bait bang it off structure and then just stop it and then start reeling again and stop it and kind of almost treat it like you would treat a jerk bait and let those pauses really draw those bass in and get bite. So I really like that about that, that it's a suspending bait. Overall build quality is really good. The only downside, like I said, is that line tie. Hooks are sharp, split rings are strong, paint jobs stay on. So overall, it's a really cool, um, well-built little crankbait by Berkeley. And I'm definitely going to pick up some more of the baits in this line. I mean, if they're all built like this, built quality, um, with the with the hooks and all that for six dollars you can't really go wrong for this bait but i'll leave a link down below so you guys can go check this bait out but as always guys thank you for watching if you've got any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section down below if you're new to my channel thanks for watching go check out some more of my videos i'll leave some links and and little pictures and things you can click all right here in just a minute um and go check me out on all my social media it's all under alex redfish and the links are down in the description go check out some of my partners my links are also down in the description for them and as always you guys are sweet and thank you for watching